All right, it's been a while. It's been a long while, in fact, since we've talked about any astrology. We've covered all seven traditional planets, I believe, and now we need to get into talking about the signs, beginning with the sign of Aries. So, let's get into it. Now, it's important that when we're discussing the signs, for you, the listener, to not assume that I'm talking about you. Because people will say, I'm an Aries, I'm a Gemini, I'm a Libra. No, that is your sun sign. That is the sign that the sun was in at the time of your birth. People who don't understand astrology think that's all there is to astrology. And it's why a lot of people don't believe in astrology. Because people only take one sign into account, the sun sign. And even then, most horoscopes simply make things up. And you'll see things going around on social media with a list of the signs saying Scorpio, the most loyal, Sagittarius, can't trust them, etc., etc., when all of it is made up nonsense. And yet you'll have people spreading this kind of garbage around because, ho ho, I'm a Scorpio, I'm the most loyal, it says so right here in the meme. And as a magician and an astrologer, it is rather annoying. You don't see anyone pretending to be doctors or lawyers on social media, or any other profession really, except astrologers. When it comes to astrology, anyone can make up whatever the hell they want, apparently. And the reason they can get away with completely making things up is that people are ignorant about astrology. And for those not making the horoscopes up, the reason they're so hit and miss is because they're only taking one sign into account the sun sign. But you are more than just one planet in one sign. Because in every single person's natal chart, you will have every single planet, you will have every single sign, and you will have every single house. So one person's sun in Aries may not have the same effect as someone else's sun in Aries. Depending on the aspects to other planets, its house positioning, and where on the axis of the chart it falls. And that's just for starters. When it comes to astrology, one size does not fit all. But that's exactly what these fake astrologers try to do with these lame horoscope memes. So it's important to understand that as I'm talking about the signs, as I'm talking about Aries, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the energy that is the sign of Aries. Now, if you have your sun in Aries, you may identify with a lot of what I'm saying. There is a reason they pick the sun sign for horoscopes. It's because the sun is the planet that we identify with at heart. But you're also just as likely to identify with it if you have Aries on your ascendant as well. So, the point I'm trying to make is you need the full natal chart to tell the complete story. One planet in one sign doesn't cut it, but that's what people are saying when they say, I'm an Aries, I'm a Gemini, I'm a Leo. And I don't want my listeners to be under that false impression. If you're going to learn astrology, I want you to learn it correctly. And it begins with learning that only taking the sun sign into account is bad astrology. And just for a small example, my sun sign is Capricorn, yet my ascendant, my rising sign, is Pisces. I have more Pisces tendencies than I do Capricorn tendencies. This is why early on I didn't believe in astrology, because all of my horoscopes would miss. And I'm like, I'm a Capricorn, and everything they're writing about me is wrong. And so I completely dismissed astrology. It wasn't until much later when I studied astrology on my own that I realized that I had been lied to. They only took one sign into account, or even worse, sometimes they just made it up. It wasn't until I had my complete natal chart taking every placement into account that it all finally made sense. Okay? So, with all that out of the way, let's get into talking a bit about the sign of Aries. 
Now, there's a reason we went over the planets before we went over the signs. And that is because every sign is going to be ruled or governed by a planet or planets. And as such, that sign is going to take on some of the characteristics of that ruling planet. Now, this is going to be a very crude illustration of what I'm talking about. But you know the slot machines with the three windows. You pull the handle and you could get like bar, lemon, or cherry. Well, astrology is kind of the same way, except the three windows represent planet, sign, and house. So let's say you had sun and Aries in the second house. It would come up sun, Mars, and Venus. If you had Mars and Aries in the first house, it would be Mars, Mars, and Mars. And so the first thing that we learn about the sign of Aries is that it is ruled by the planet Mars which stands the reason, considering Aries is the god of war. Now, just knowing that each sign is ruled by a planet and will take on some of the characteristics of that planet is half the work of understanding the signs. Aries is ruled by Mars and therefore an extension of Mars by default. The next thing we need to take into account is its element, which in the case of Aries is fire. More specifically, cardinal fire. Cardinal meaning beginning. We have three types, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. You can think of them as beginning, middle, and end. Aries being cardinal fire is the beginning of fire. It's that spark that ignites the flame, that spark that signals the beginning of life in spring, as Aries is the beginning of springtime from March 2021 to April 2021. Cardinal fire, the beginning of fire. Things start warming up after the long winter. Now, fire also representing action and passion, and Aries being cardinal fire, that energy of Aries is very quick to start things. Aries will rush right in. Very action-oriented, not content to just sit around and wait. Aries has to do something. And so Aries is very quick to start things. It's very good at getting projects going. But sadly, it's not very good at finishing them. Cardinal Fire is a starter. It's not a finisher. It's not a closer. In the days of old, the ram was a symbol of sacrifice. They would sacrifice the ram. Aries also has that energy of self-sacrifice. Since it is cardinal fire, it's not going to be here for the completion anyway. Now, we said Aries was good at starting things. Unfortunately, this includes with other people. Aries is the god of war after all, and it's the ram's natural instinct to butt heads. And in this regard, the energy of Aries can be a bit of a bully if it's not tempered by other factors and influences. Aries can be quite pushy. When you think of Aries, think of the Fast and the Furious, because Aries is quick to start things. It has a quick temper. It's quick to act, so it's quick to start fights and get into arguments. Quick to butt heads. Cardinal Fire must act. Go, go, go. That Aries energy is like a rocket taking off, the rocket being that phallic symbol of Mars combined with that cardinal fire energy of igniting the booster rockets and blasting off. That is Aries. There is a lot of ego in Aries that's wrapped up in self-identity. Its motto is I am. Perhaps you can see why ego wrapped up in self-identity leads to a lot of arguments. Aries' color is red, and the parts of the body that it governs are the top of the head, the blood, and the face overall. Now, there are going to be certain aspects and parts that are governed by other planets, but as a whole, Aries governs the face because the face and Aries are both tied with identity. You recognize someone by their face. They're Aries. The tarot card associated with Aries is the Emperor. And you can see Aries being represented in the card by the ram's heads on the throne. Now, because Aries is so quick to jump into action, even without thinking sometimes, it can be a bit prone to accidents. 
And it's because Aries has to act. It doesn't always think things through. But this is also why Aries is also the hero, the savior, in addition to the warrior. Because it is Aries who will leap into action to save someone else without thinking and without question, even at great peril to themselves. Again, Aries is a self-sacrificing type of energy. Where other signs would hold back, Aries is very spontaneous. And because Aries is accident-prone and spontaneous and leaps into action, Aries should be very cautious of injury, especially to the head. The problem is, Aries isn't cautious at all. Caution is a Capricorn trait. Nevertheless, Aries should be aware of a natural inclination towards injury. And that's about it. That's a good general summary of the sign of Aries. Now, out in the corporate world, we see that Aries has been adopted by Ram Trucks, taking the Ram's head of Aries as their logo. Something you'll notice more and more as you get into astrology is that a lot of corporate logos are taken from astrology. Not all, but there's a lot of them. So that is the sign of Aries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like or share it if you did. I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Freighter Xavier. And consider joining us on Patreon, where you can watch Mystery School videos long before they're available on YouTube. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care.